So mm. that's one of the things that I learned on my PhD in failure. Mm. Failure is normal. Yes. I did from grade one until master's. I've never failed in my life. I've never failed a module. I've never failed at primary or at high school. Yeah. I was yeah. that A student. But yeah. I tested failure at PhD level. When I submitted my thesis mm. for the first time, mm. it came back Ooh. with two examiners saying mm. the, the, the thesis is okay, you know, she can proceed and graduate. And there was one who criticized it like you ask yourself, did I spend three years writing? <laughs> did I spend three years? <laughs> oh. So that the examiner asked that I do a resubmission. Right. Then I think the the team, the the faculty decided that I, they give me six months to okay. Correct whatever the examiner yeah. was asking yeah. me. Then I said it's fine. But within those six months, I grew. I I learned so much. I connected with people. I I I mm. I put my I I had to put myself out there. Within six months, I presented a paper from the thesis that had been criticized. Mm. So, mm. so what I wanted to say is when failure comes, take it. Mm. Because it's God saying, pause a little bit. You're moving too fast. There are people that I want you to meet before you get to the finishing line. There are rooms that I want you to be in before you get to the finishing line. There are skills that I want you to learn before mm. you get to the finishing line. Mm. With that uh, resubmission, I reached out to people here in the UK, professors that I had just seen on LinkedIn, yeah. emails, please, can you can you advise me on this? Can you advise me on this? As, as well as my supervisor was, advise, mm. was advising me. But if I tell you, I, I reached out to anyone and everyone that I could. Yeah. During those reaching out times, some invited me for conferences. Come and present your paper and see how people take it. If they criticize oh, it, wow. then you got areas. I, I did that. Mm. You know, I, I, I built connections through mm. my failure season. Yeah. Yeah. So we should normalize talking about it. People I agree. Fail. People fail. And failure does not mean... You are you are not academically strong. Mm. I'm telling you, mm. I have a record of distinctions. My first degree, I had 18 distinctions. I have two first class undergrads. I've got a first class in masters, but I failed. Yeah. In my it's, PhD. Yeah. For the first time. Of course, we might not say it's a it's not a failure, but for me, I felt like yeah. Yeah. this is a yeah. failure for me. Mm. Mm. But I grew in that time. I grew so much. You know, yeah. I had to grow em to grow emotionally because mm. I couldn't afford to cry because my daughters were there. I couldn't afford to cry. <laughs> <Aww. laughs> <Aww. laughs> you, you receive your reports today Oof. and you you say it's okay, I'm going to print this thesis, I'm going to start working on it again. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. I also let go of control because mm. we are so used to controlling, controlling our, we think we control our destiny, we control this. In that time, I said, mm -mm, I'm stepping back. I'm yeah. not doing what I can. Mm. I'm letting go of control, do the corrections and submit. And mm. I did that and there you are. Got my yeah. peer. Yeah, but I think you make a good point though, and I think to to pull that out is that when 
failure will happen to us at some point, at some whether point. that's failing an exam or a you know, PhD or yeah. a job, you know, rejection, failure, whatever, it will happen. Like that's going yeah. to happen. And what we kind of forget or we don't really realize is that in that moment, we have a choice of what to do with yeah. that. And that's very difficult because you get lost in the emotion. And you get lost in the feeling. Yeah. And then you you kind of forget that you need to take active control of what you're going to do. You can be unhappy. It's cool. But what are you going to do? Yeah. And I think in your case, you decided I'm going to take a different path. I'm going to take this and grow. But you could also have decided, oh, well, fine. If you don't like what I want or this is what I've done or put some I'm, I'm, I'm in. Yeah. I'm right. giving up. Like if this is this is the best that I could do, and it's not good enough for you, well then there's nothing else I can do. Um, and then you know, a lot of people take failure, and then they become more like less likely to I reach took out. Failure, and I rod on it. <laughs> 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 if you go back to rods right now, even when I was doing my mentorship program, right, the first thing that I would talk about is failure. So it will happen. And it doesn't mean that you have not studied enough. Yes. You have studied what I was love. Yeah. Done. Yeah. Failure. I love what you say. There's something, your failure is like, I love the way that you said that. It's like there is something else you need. Yes. There is some, and it's a, a different door, it's a different skill, it's a different person, it's yes. different, something. But we only ever see failure as, well, I'm not good enough. Yeah. You like, are good enough. But there is a skill that you need. Something else. 